So I want to close the distance against the strikes. For the drilling, we're just going to use the open hand so we don't accidentally get a punch into the face. So it's going to start with a big overhand right, which is the most common punch in a self-defense scenario. So I'm going to cover myself. I'm holding the top of my head and I'm using my forearms and my elbows to create a blocking frame here. Now if I just stay here, he can of course pummel me. So I want to get to the inside. So even if he makes a big move here, I'm going to be on the inside of the punch. As soon as I feel the connection, I'm going to open my arms, reach around his body and connect my hands again. My head is on the inside of the chest and I'm controlling the position here. Now, of course, he can still punch me, but we're not going to stay here. But this close, it's hard for him to generate a lot of power. So it will just be short punches. The punches are really dangerous from here where he can create a lot of power. I'm either outside, so I'm all the way, he can't punch me, or I want to be close enough. Don't make the mistake of dropping the hands too early. So if I come in and now I try to reach, he can still punch me. So wait until you're connected and then you connect.